Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm doing a week in the life because I feel like I've been like not doing like week in the life videos. So I'm doing a week in the life video. And for those of you who have not been to my channel, my name is Sierra and I'm a new grad nurse. And I recently filled my NCLEX. For the whole week I took off work so I can like start restudying like really in depth. Um, that's pretty much what I've been doing all morning. So right now the time is five o'clock. I woke up this morning around like eight, nine-ish. I was supposed to get up originally at seven, but I woke up and my phone was dead. So my alarm did not go off, but I ended up waking up, taking my dog for a walk, um, getting dressed and going straight to the coffee shop. I studied and I started doing high yield. So I've been studying with NCLEX high yield with Dr. Zishan, I think his name is. And he's been great. I've also been using Archer before I used UWorld and Marquet, and now I'm just trying to do something totally different, forget everything I've learned. Well, not technically forget everything I've learned, but kind of like retrain my mind, like learning it for the first time or whatever the case is. So that's what I did today. Today I focused solely on cardiac stuff. Um, so I went over like coronary artery disease, PAD. Um, I still have a couple I need to go over, but the cool coffee shop that I went to closed early today, so I wasn't able to finish studying, um, but I finished studying at like three o'clock. Then I went to go get my nails done because they was looking a hot mess, and I got this super cute green color, which is giving everything and more. And time I just did my nails because like, honestly, anytime I get tips, they just like break, and I've been trying to grow my nails out, but like, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do my nails. Like I said, I was doing NCLEX high yield. I went over all pediatric um, heart defects and stuff like that, and I took really good notes with Mark K, so I'm just gonna keep those same notes because I feel like he did a really good job at just explaining everything you needed to know it was pretty simple um so i'm gonna keep those notes refreshing up on those today and i also still need to do practice questions which dr z on high yield said to do four sets of 40 questions so that's what i'm gonna do later tonight but since the nail shop did kind of take a while to get to me it is now already five o'clock i'm supposed to be going to dinner at 6 30 with my mom and her friend so I'm gonna be doing that and then after that I'm going to go finish studying, finish my practice questions and do everything else I have to do. But for the most part, it's been a really chill day. I've been really excited and really like um, hopeful to get back studying and get all this content down and to do well on my next NCLEX. So that's what this whole week is gonna be for, just me kind of really like getting into it, dumbing down and like bossing back up after failing, period. Because it's only up from here. I hope. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go home. I've gotta start getting ready. I still gotta wash my clothes. I still have like a few things to do. I was gonna go to the gym originally after I left um, the coffee shop, but because I was like over here at the nail shop, I was like, I might as well go ahead and stop and get my nails done because my nails are looking busted and crusted and I don't wanna walk around with my nails looking like this anymore. So I just stopped there. And now obviously I'm not gonna have time to go to the gym right now so gonna go home go to dinner do my practice questions then go to the gym before the end of the night and then i'm gonna do it all over again tomorrow <laughs> so that's what this whole week is gonna be and yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along with me and if you are not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you start watching the rest of my video because why not great Today is a cool day. I took 
my little brother and sister to the pool. Today, I woke up, took my little brother to his baseball um, private thing, and then I went to Starbucks, finally got my car washed. They didn't have like the things to wipe the windows down because Ginger has licked all over my windows. So I need to clean that out, and I also need to get some air fresheners. And then I went to Starbucks, and then here I am at the pool with my sister, my little brother, and her friends. Uh, outfit details, I got my hat from Target, glasses from Target, uh, necklace from Ana Luisa, earrings from Target, swimsuit from Target. <laughs> Pretty much everything that happens from Target. Got back from the water park. We did. We got these spicy chips from Five Below. She had to stop by Five Below. So we decided to get these haunted ghost pepper chips because they're exactly. spicy. And I don't even like spicy things, but we're gonna try it. Eat one, two, three, cheers. Eat the whole thing. Mmm, so good. It's good. Oh, Mind over matter. It's so good. Hey, <laughs> Today is Wednesday. I barely know what day it is half the time, but today's Wednesday and I had another late start to my day. I was supposed to get up at like 7 a.m. this morning. I did not do that. I slept in till like 11, which is crazy, but you know what? It happens. I'm no longer, you know, getting down on myself when I do things like that. It just means that my body needs a rest. So I took advantage of all the rest that I got and woke up, made some breakfast. Um, uh, took the dogs outside, did the usuals, um, and I had a few errands to run today, but today I did do more practice questions, and one thing that I was focusing on was pretty much writing down all my rationales when I get things incorrect, so that's what I started doing today. I did all my rationales over cardiology, and I've got some more cardiac things to go over, and I'm gonna do GI and then some other, I forgot what the other one was, I need to look at my calendar, but that's what I've been doing today. Right now, I'm taking Ginger on a walk as my little brother is at his baseball practice. He's got baseball practice, and I think the season will be starting again soon. But yeah, right now, he's at baseball practice, and that's it. That's pretty much how the day has gone. Um, I really want to go by the store and get some more like um, clips for my hair but I just don't feel like going to the store. So probably not gonna do that. But after I leave here, I'm gonna go home and try to make some like shrimp scampi or something like that. Some shrimp kind of pasta. But this is it for now. We are taking a walk, enjoying our leisurely activity. Oh, she's paying.
another coffee shop earlier this morning. I went to a coffee shop. Um, I did all of my incorrect rationales and writing all those down and stuff like that. And that took a while. It took a really long time, but that's one new study method that I'm using this time around. I did not do that the first time around when I took my NCLEX, so that's what I've been doing. And I took a break, went home. My mom finally got back from Chicago, so um, talked to her for a little bit, ate some food. And then I now am at a different coffee shop. Um, I definitely have to like switch it up. I can't sit at one coffee shop all day if I do do like the studying all day type thing. So I'm at a different coffee shop and it's super big. It's really at this church, but it's a great coffee shop. And um, doing some more practice questions, I'm gonna start doing my next set of 40 questions, which is over all subjects, all systems, all subjects. So I'm gonna do that and that usually takes me around 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then let you, let you guys know how I do, go over my rationales, then I'm gonna move on to GI. I have to do endocrine and I also have to do maternity. So I'm gonna probably be here for a while and I really wanna get this stuff done and get it out the way. Uh, but that's what I'm doing for now, and I will keep you guys updated. So I have officially finished studying for the day. Um, I did more practice questions, and I did some more lecture material and stuff like that. But you know what? It's been a long day, so I'm calling it quits right now. And that's okay, because I study every day, and I think it's okay if I take a break and not finish everything I said I was going to finish. Sometimes it's okay to slack off. So I also had to do some like some brand stuff. So I am responding to a lot of emails and stuff um, to get y'all some more cool discounts on products and stuff like that. So that should be coming soon. Be on the lookout for more links and like information stuff down in my bio. And um, that's pretty much it for the day. I'm gonna go hang out a little bit maybe cook some dinner and that's gonna be it honestly i got so tired of writing all of these rationales like i had to write so many let me show y'all real quick so these are all the ones i did over the cardiac lectures earlier today and honestly there was so many it's like little things that I didn't know about cardiology and here are the ones I did today over just basic all systems all subjects and there was not that many that I got wrong but still a few things that I need to go over I'm also noticing which I knew before I keep like not getting enteral feeds like TPN stuff like that so I do need to brush up on TPN and enteral feeds and all that information, tube feeds, because I keep getting those wrong. So hopefully I will keep brushing up on that stuff and not get those questions wrong anymore. Um, now that I'm seeing that those are, like they keep popping up, I keep getting them wrong. And also that's the perks of continuously writing down your incorrect answers like you keep seeing the things that you get wrong and you're like hold on i thought i wrote this rationale before it's because i keep getting it wrong so hopefully that helps me and i will continue to review all of my rationales i kind of want to look over them at least once a day whether it's for five minutes ten minutes at least i'm looking over it at least once a day which gets it back into my brain and hopefully i won't be getting them wrong on the nclex when i take them the second time around i also need to check my email for um, my authorization to test. I did not know that I needed to submit a retest through the Texas Board of Nursing website. I went ahead and I paid like my um, registration view through Pearson View, but I also needed to do it through my state um, like that I need to retest. So I had to pay an extra $75 to do that, which I did that now. I think it's been four days. So I honestly should have an email coming through however I do not see one so hopefully I'll be able to find that soon um, maybe it went to like my spam or something like that so I'm gonna keep looking and see when the next time I can to see when the next time I can schedule my next NCLEX I will not be sharing my next NCLEX date this time around I'm just going to keep to myself so that there's like no pressure on me and like I'm not like overwhelmed with all these like uh, messages although you guys send me really really great messages about like doing well and like encouraging me I love all those I just kind of want to not 
think about it and try to relax as much as possible a week before the exam i'm probably going to delete all my social media a week before um and all that good stuff but i will keep it a secret and then you guys will officially know if i just pop up posting on instagram about yeah girl it's official she's an official rn so anyway claiming that speaking that keeping that in mind but I will, like I said, be deleting my Instagram and like staying off social media the week of my NCLEX. However, I still have not scheduled it, but when I am able to, I'm going to keep it on the hush hush so I can do a big reveal or not a big reveal if I end up not doing well again. But God forbid, please God, don't let that happen again. <laughs> What's the worst thing in my life?